Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kingdoms and Castles. Today, we are going to be taking a look at this beautiful little city builder game. Now, I've been messing around with it a fair bit in my own time, and I'm, I gotta say, it is quite a bit of fun. So, we're gonna be jumping right in. Um, the question is, do we go for Somern, or do we go, uh, do we go peaceful or easy? Hmm... Hmm, interesting. Um Yeah, let's just go with the let's go with the one that has dragons and raiders. Why not? So, as you can see, each map is uh randomly generated. Now we can choose from uh the size, small, medium, large, or random, or we can choose between a land or island. We're going to leave it on random and we're just going to hit this button a few times. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I really like this. This is massive. But I like the setup of it. Let's see, we got some iron here. Uh, we got some good stone here, actually. So we could... Ooh, quite a bit of stone here. We could start out right here. That's not bad. That's not bad at... Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, we're going to start right here. We're going to go ahead and accept this land. We'll choose our banner. Uh, let's go with the sword. And now we get to name our kingdom. Hmm, what do we call it? What do we call it? Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm not very creative, guys. I hate to say it. I'm not super creative when it comes to names. Um... Let's just call it Gelderland. How about that? I'm okay with that. Yeah, well, this is the Kingdom of Gelderland. All right, so here we are. We are on our uh, own map. Let's pause the game right now, just so we don't have time running. And yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and drop our keep right here, because this is a really good initial spot. Now, to really, now as you can probably tell from... Uh, the UI, you can't start building your town until you've dropped your keep already. Um, that would get rid of the wood, sadly. Let's just put it... This is all good land for farming, though, is the problem. We are going to need some initial food production. So let's just put it there for now. So we'll put it on speed 3. As you can see, we have our little people running around here. Which is fine. They'll build our castle real quick. But the first thing we're going to do is drop some roads, kind of like that. And then we will build a couple hovels over here. Now, hovels are the initial houses you get in the game. Yeah, you can expect they're not that great. They only have five beds in total. They're going to go ahead and our little people are going to get the materials over there. They'll get the house built. There we go. So, as you can see... They want neighbors. They're not super happy initially, and there's only five beds. So we definitely want to get our houses upgraded, but you can't upgrade them directly. We'll go into that in a second, but as you can see, these are the uh, <clears throat> factors that are affecting the happiness of our citizens. So they don't have charcoal, which is a problem. We'll get that going. They don't have neighbors. Uh, they do have road access, but they don't have a well. To build a well, we need stone. And to get stone, we need a quarry. And to get a quarry, we need wood. So it's all kind of cause and effect. So let's get all of this wood chopped over here for the time being. Chopping is the fastest way to get wood. You can also build uh, foresters, but they only give you a uh, an income of like two wood per tick, uh, as I would call it. So it's a little slow going. We'll need some more wood to build a few more hovels. There we go. Let's get three in total for now. That doesn't really block anything. Good, good. Get some more roads going here just to kind of define our initial city. There we go. Get those houses built. Now that we have 10 beds in total, 15 beds in total, excuse me, as we can see right over here. The, uh, our population will start to go up, which is good. We don't have any food production going on for the winter. All right, so let's look at this. This is our advisors. Uh, obviously, the agriculture guy is saying make farms. The city guy says we need uh, to lower priority on stuff, which we're not going to do. We're just going to let time run. And then we have our military advisor. So that's not too bad. Let's see. We have enough wood to go ahead and get a quarry set up here. 
So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I might actually get two set up. No, we'll get one for now. We'll get one for now. That's fine. We do have plenty of beds. As you can see, the smoke rising from these two hovels means people actually live there. And this, so this is one of the really nice things about uh, telling telling you about your city. So as you can see, it says, My lord, three people visited, but only one found a satisfactory home. And what that means is we basically need to raise our happiness in the town so we attract more settlers. I mean, that should be kind of a given, but yeah. I really do like this game. The music's great. The art style is fantastic. It's just, it's just a fun, calming little game, in my opinion. This is what I've been playing recently, just to kind of unwind at the after... Uh, a recording session or after playing some EU4 or Hoi4 because uh, you know every once in a while I need to unwind a bit and this is one of the perfect games to do that so as you can see over here we have some fertile land which means we need to get some farms up and going before much else actually now unfortunately farms can only be built uh, two tiles away from your roads but we will be planning for a pretty solid initial little farming spot. Now, this land over here is very fertile, so unfortunately, uh, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Eventually, we're going to want to fully move our food production probably out here. Yeah, this this seems like a pretty solid spot for food production, as does this. We can also get orchards uh, to kind of make food irregardless of the land. But let's get into that food, shall we? So we need some farms going. That's fine. We'll build one, two, three, four farms. I think that's all the wood we actually have, which is not exactly good. So we definitely need to get some more wood cut down. We'll queue up all of these choppings. Oh, thought I'd queued that one up. We'll queue up all of these. We'll cut all of these trees down to get wood and kind of clear out some space for the town. Of course, the city guy is complaining that there's not enough work. We just need to give it some time. That's what he doesn't understand is how quickly time moves on in this game. All right, so we have some farming going now, which is pretty nice. But we also need, uh, I would say we need some more hovels, to be honest. Hmm. I don't really want to put it next to the stone. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's fine. We'll queue up three more ho hovels right there. We'll leave a path here for a road. You know what? Let's just build that right now while I'm thinking about it. We'll do that, and then we'll have another quarry up here that I would like to have road access. So these guys are fairly happy. They have neighbors. They have road access, but we need to get charcoal going as well as a well. As well as a well. <laughs> That's a wonderful sentence. Uh, unfortunately, our population is only 12 right now. Make that 16. Lovely. So, the more people we get, we'll start getting some stone coming in as the uh, work priorities go down as well. Hmm. Alright, well, I think this is going quite swimmingly, actually. We, we definitely need that stone production, though. So, I think we're going to bump up the stone production over the timber workers because we need stone to get wells built and we need wells to prevent fires because things are flammable in this game and they will burn so this stone right here is unusable which is really unfortunate but the nice thing is eventually once we get some gold and some iron tools we can build rock removal that will get rid of that i wish we could just demolish it but oh well that's fine all right, so let's check this. Hmm. We need more farms, that is for sure. However, we're going to go ahead and queue up the well. That's actually a really bad spot for it. Um, This is a much better spot because it does barely cover our farms. Well, the well doesn't actually need road access, does it? I don't think it does. Um, I don't think it actually needs road access. Hmm... What about over here? No, I think, uh, honestly, this is like the best spot for it for now. We'll, we'll build more wells up. Uh, we'll build wells up here closer to our farms eventually. But for now, we'll just get a well. <gasps> oh, no, there be Dargons. Oh, no, guys, it's a Dargon. Oh, God, run away. Oh, no, don't destroy my town. I have nothing to defend the town with. Oh, God, this is bad. 
This is bad. Um. Um. That's not good. That's not good. We need to build some walls because we also have raiders on this map as well. Maybe we have to move our farming out to like here-ish so we can get a wall going. Oh god, let's just, let's just let time run, see what happens. Please don't destroy anything, Mr. Dragon. Please don't destroy anything. Go away. Go away. I don't care about the city advisor right now. We have a dragon to deal with. Do we? Oh, that's kind of scary. And it, like, literally a couple of years in, and it's like, suddenly there's a dragon. Oh, God. That's terrifying. All right, well, the dragon's gone. So let's get some more food production. Hmm. You know what? I actually might build an orchard right here. It's not a bad idea, honestly. No, uh, orchard, farms. Let's just get more farms. Build three there, we'll build one there, one there, and build like that. That should be enough farms. Now, as you'll notice, I am leaving a space for, uh, right here in the middle, for windmills, because that improves the productivity of adjacent farms. All right, so what, what do our advisors want? Hmm. Okay, let's make life better for the peasants. That's fine. We don't really have the resources to do that, sadly. A fire has started. Oh, no. Hey, look. We're a small village now. We've gone above 25, but something is on fire. That's bad. We need another well up here, actually. Our well coverage is pretty awful right now. I'm okay with building a well there. Oh, no. It's on fire. No. Save the house. Come on. Save it. Save it. Save the hovel. Okay, whew. Didn't burn down. Didn't burn down. We are good. Yeah, we definitely are going to need some more food production. Is partially an issue. Hmm. Yeah, without food, they could soon die. But that's okay. Once we get, uh, once we get through the winter, all of our uh, farms will probably start producing. We have some decent fertility here. As far as the land goes. So, to deal with farms to, next to our roads, we're going to go ahead and build the roads all the way out to there now. Then we can get a lo line of farms here while still leaving a space for the windmill in between each of these. Windmills are expensive, though, as part of the issue early game. Trying to get them 35 stone, 25 wood. Not great. Let's go ahead and queue up these trees to be chopped down. We'll go ahead and queue these ones up as well. Uh... Oh, you guys are hungry. Yes, I know. We're growing farms. We're growing farms. Calm down. We're growing food. Line of farms in here. That is fine. We just need as much food production as possible right now because people are starting to starve. You know what? I'm actually getting kind of hungry myself. <laughs> May have to get some food in between the next, uh, in between recordings. All right, so we have more farms going. The production is good. Now, these won't produce this year, sadly, but all of these will, which is great. There we go. Quite a bit more food coming in. There we go. We're back in the positive, and we still need charcoal production. Hmm. Hmm. That's fine. We just, we really do need as many farms as possible right now to feed our people. I think this will be more than enough, though. So we have some lumber work going. Let's get one more hovel. Last hovel, and then we'll start getting a charcoal maker up and on the go. Probably put the charcoal maker uh, out here to keep him away from our houses, because people don't like... While people always want charcoal, they hate the smell of uh, the charcoal maker. So that's not very good. But we do need a lot more wood for charcoal makers. We also need uh, much more... We need like a proper wood production going. So, I mean, I'm going to queue up a bunch of stuff to get chopped down. Just for now. And then, let's see. Industry. Do we have enough to build a forester's hut? Oh, we do. I, you know, I would be okay with that. Um, These trees are about to get chopped down, so I wouldn't mind actually putting it right there. Yeah, we'll wait for that tree to get chopped down all the way, and then we'll put our forester out there. There should be more than enough food production at this point. We are going to need some food storage, though, so to that end, let's go ahead and get a granary, small granary going right there. 
And then once these are cut down, we'll get... Uh, yeah, we definitely need a granary, though, because as you can see, we now have enough production that we can't quite store it all. So hopefully this gets built pretty quickly. Industry, let's get a forester going right there. Kind of a little ways out of town. We'll probably relocate him eventually. The foresters will probably end up, I don't know, maybe down here. Down here and along here. Yeah, we might just leave him there, actually, then. That is fine. Then we'll probably lo relocate some of our industry as well. We do, we'll probably locate this as our industry. And then we can use docks to uh, transport the iron down. As you can see, we can build docks and transport ships. It, it gets pretty cool later on. I quite enjoy it personally. All right. So, as you can see, we have our first better house. We have cottages now. Cottages are two by one houses that are actually, that hold, I uh, can't actually remember how many. Um, hmm. We should probably make life more pleasant for our peasants first. Let's go ahead and expand some roads, actually. Let's get roads going like there for now. We'll get one there as well. And then I feel a little better about building cottages, because then we can get... Yeah, we can get one, two, three cottages right here, and I'm okay with that. There we go. At some point, we will get our windmills up, but we and we also need charcoal, too. We definitely need some charcoal production. So let's go ahead and cut all of that down. Um, I might run a road out here to this uh, forester. Hmm... Yeah, we're going to need a lot of foresters, actually. And I might focus on that fairly early. At the same time, though, we definitely need to think about getting Ballista and Archer Towers up and on the go. But we do need gold for that. We don't actually need gold or uh, to build walls, though. Hmm. That's a thought. Build some walls along here, maybe. We are going to have raiders to deal with, so I would like to get our Chamber of War up fairly quickly. But we need a lot of stone, and we need a lot of stone for the taxes. Alright, so each one of these cottages has room for 12 beds, which is really nice. Our happiness is pretty good. That's always very nice. You know what, I think we'll build the charcoal makers, like, here? And put a, uh, well there as well? Because charcoal makers have a very high chance of fire. We have enough wood to, uh, make two, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Do. I'm going to delete this one because I definitely didn't rotate it how I wanted it. It's, everything has to be looking... It all has to face the same way and it all has to look pretty. Don't judge me. It's all about the symmetry, guys. Like, I'm, like I've said. Tree. So we have no idle workers right now, which is fantastic. We are definitely going to need more foresters, though. Two of three. Why? Okay, let's change the job priority on that. We can bring the quarries down. There we go. That is fine. We'll bring the priority on the quarry down a little bit. We have plenty of stone coming in. We almost have enough for our... Uh... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? For the... Uh... Build another well right there. For the chamber of... Uh... Oh, God, what's it called? Words are failing me. Our treasure room. So we need 10 wood and 50 stone for that, which isn't too bad. Uh, we are out of wood right now, though. So we'll go boom, 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 boom. Cut down a bunch more trees. That's fine. Now once we do this, we'll uh, get a road going over here and build another forester. Probably there. Well, I don't know. They need to be symmetrical. It has to be symmetrical. So we'll queue up all of these trees to get cut down. Eventually they will. We have plenty of wood now, which is lovely. Go ahead and extend this road out of skosh. All right, so we are getting some charcoal production going. Now let's look at our town. Uh, food. So we need 10 gold to get a market, sadly. I would like to get a market, so we will probably focus on that. Um, I'm going to shop that down because I want to build a uh, quarry right there. Okay, so we can, get, we can queue up the forester now, I think. Uh, let's see, what's your range? So we would overlap a little there, actually. Hmm. That's fine. If we build the road out a little bit like this. Wait for that tree to get cut down. There we go. That one's almost done as well. 
I think that'll be fine, actually. They will overlap, like I said, but I really don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Oh, we need more road. One more bit of road. We'll pause the game real quick while I'm doing this. Uh, drop our forester there. That should be fine. I'll probably take road directly out there at some point. Industry. Let's go ahead and get the quarry built before they decide to get more uh, trees in there. This forester. Which is fine. So we are losing a couple of tiles over here with our forester, but I think that's okay. We'll have a second one coming in shortly, which is awesome. We need more beds, though. So, to that end, I think we have enough food production for the time being. Let's not worry about the windmills yet. Let's get another cottage. Actually, we can build two. Let's, so, let's do that. Let's build two more cottages right here. And then we really need to think about making uh, life more pleasant for our peasants. One of, a good way to do that would be building a town square right there. So our initial setup in this town is not going to be like the most pretty by any means. Uh, so at some point when we get to a certain uh, population, I'll probably come back through and rip all of this out. The farms are definitely going to be going somewhere else, but for the time being, we just need some food production going. There we go. We have plenty of food. We have, that small granary is more than enough. We are going, like I said, we are definitely going to need more foresters, though, because a production of four per tick is not very good. Not very good at all. Oh, fire. Oh, no, tree. Wow, actually, I, I didn't realize lightning can start fires in this game. I mean, that should be a given, but... <laughs> you never know. It's a game, man. You never know. It may or, it may, or may not do strange things. I don't know. I mean, like, I know for a fact that when you're playing Minecraft and lightning hits a creeper, it becomes a super creeper, and then you die. That much I remember. It's been a long time since I've played Minecraft, but I remember that much. Uh, alright, so let's get... We'll wait until this is done. Just needs the, one more piece of wood. Come on, one more. One more, guys. One more. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. Yay, we have our town center up and running. Ah, oh, it's facing the wrong way, damn it. Oh, well, that's fine. No big deal. But, guys, I think this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap this first episode of Kingdoms and Castles up. I am quite excited for this new series. I don't know how long we'll go on with it, but I definitely have been wanting to play some Kingdoms and Castles for a while, so figured, you know what, let's just record it and put it up on the channel. But like I said, this is where we are wrapping things up. So as always, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in, spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you guys are excited for the new series and the new channel schedule layout, please do drop a like down below as it really helps the channel out and subscribe for a more diverse gaming lineup in the future. My name is Ori. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next one.